Hello everyone, this is Brian with BSN Tech Networks bringing to you a video tutorial on how to manage your vehicle inventory website. In this tutorial we go over and show you how to add, update, or delete vehicles from your website and also how to possibly do some categories to categorize them to make them a little easier to view. First of all, you should have received a username and a password from us in order to access the admin panel of your website. If you have not, please get in touch with us and we'll be happy to get that information over to you. Now in this example, we have already logged into the customer's website and we are in the admin panel as seen on your screen. Now over on the left side, there's an option that says cars for sale and then you have some options here you've got cars for sale add new condition location and more so in this case we're just gonna go ahead and click cars for sale and right away we are shown a screen with the vehicles that are listed on the site now in this case I just created a test vehicle for the customer and so it is displayed on the screen it shows the photo there's the title, it says 01 test car, um, and that's about it. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on it, and then we'll go into the editor. So here's what we have. Up at the top, this is kind of the title or the info that's going to primarily appear for that car. Down in this section is where you can put in description or other information about the vehicle. Sales status, is it sold or not? Yes or no. So you have that drop down box. Uh, these items over here you don't need to worry about and here's where the main bulk of the info is you can put in the specifications about the car so for the specs tab you can put the VIN number the stock number the mileage the retail price a discount your asking price uh, the body style you know four door whatever it is the year the make the model trim level um, you know that would be a sub model if you would um, and that's kind of what tells people what kind of features it comes standard with. Uh, exterior, interior color, where it was manufactured, engine type, transmission, uh, tank for gas. So, I mean, as you can see, all you have to do is just go through and fill in the information that you want to actually display for your visitors to see. Now, there are other tabs up here. Let's scroll up, and there's safety. I'll click on safety and you've got some drop down options and same thing again here you'll just go through these and if you can fill them out you don't have to if you don't want to so it just depends on how quickly you would like to get the items listed on your site uh, you've got a convenience tab a comfort tab and also an entertainment tab where you can go through and set those options as well alright so that pretty much covers how to enter all the information about the vehicle the other thing that you can do is pictures. People love to see pictures of what they are wanting to buy. So down over here, you've got vehicle photos. The main one is the featured image. This is what is going to automatically appear that people are going to see by default when they're going through your inventory. So it's very important that you set the featured image. So we'll go through this again uh, by creating an actual vehicle listing instead of editing one. But you've got a featured image there and you can add more photos under here. So it would just be manage photos and then you can upload as many as you'd like. Once you're all done, just make sure you come up here and hit the update button. If you don't hit the update button, then none of the changes that you've made will save. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and show you how to do a vehicle from the beginning. So up at the top here, you have an Add New button. So click on Add New. Title. I'm just going to say 2001 Honda Civic. And this is the description again. This is a great vehicle that has lasted many years. Honda quality and of course you can put whatever else that you'd like there now you do have this fancy editor up here so you can change the fonts things like that so let's make that bold uh, you can make it italics uh, there's the font family so you can actually change the font format or the styling of it so there's a whole bunch of features here where you can go through and change that okay 
down here. We're going to go ahead and it looks like we've just got only the specs tab right now. So, VIN, stock number mileage, should say, you know, 190,000 miles. The retail price is, say, 16,000, but our asking price is 3,900 since it's an old car. Uh, body style, four door, year 2001, Honda Civic. And as you can see, that it kind of turns green after you put something in there as well. Trim level EX. You can see I'm just kind of duplicating what I did with the test car. Exterior color is silver. Interior color is gray. Engine type four cylinder. Transmission automatic. And so on. Okay. So let's come down here. Again, it says set featured image. Let's click on it. You're going to get this box that will display. Now, by default, it's going to show you all the, all the pictures that you have uploaded to your website. To upload pictures, you click this Upload Files, and then it says Drop Files Anywhere to Upload. So you can drag and drop them, or you can hit the Select Files button, and then that's going to give you a window on your computer where you can go through and select the pictures that you want to upload. And then they'll upload to your website. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this one here, and then click Set Featured Image, and then you see that it appears right there. Next, manage photos. Again, you can put multiple photos in here. So I'm going to click that one. And now if you notice when I click that one, it takes the check mark off. But if you click on other ones, what you'll do is you want to hold down the control key. So you control, hold down the control key, and then click, and then that will allow you to select multiple pictures at the same time. Same thing here, you've got the upload files, so you can upload multiple files at the same time. And then once you have them selected, hit attach photos to vehicle and there they are okay so I'm gonna come up here and hit publish now and it's now gonna be published to the website If we scroll back down now we have the extra tabs so you can do some of the specifications first but to get the other tabs you do have to publish it before it's live now we're gonna go to this customers website and see what it looks like so I'm gonna click on vehicle inventory and of course it says uh, you know two of them right now and it's just got the same picture since they're both the same I'm gonna click on it and there it is so this is the one where I have only uploaded the one picture and it's got the info I did not put any info on this one let's go back and do the other one there it is right there okay and this is the one that we need so you can see that you've got two additional pictures if you click on them it will then show up you can even click on it and kind of make it even larger. It's got a slideshow. So there's a great deal of functionality here. And here is the description we typed in. Click on specs. There's the specs we typed in. Safety. You can see that we did not put any safety information in there. So that's generally how you are going to manage your vehicle listings system from a website that BS and Tech Networks has built you. If you have any other questions regarding this, you can certainly get in touch with us and we'd be happy to help. Uh, actually, one more thing that I'm going to show you is how to delete a listing. So we click on it, and then when we hover over it, we have trash. So you just simply click the trash button, which I'm going to go ahead and do in this case. And now you've got a different option up here that says trash. So you have all, published, and trash. So any items that you put in the trash is going to go to this folder, if you would. So I click on it. It shows me the trashed items. Now I can delete permanently, and that will fully remove it off the site. So, all right, well, that takes care of it. If you have any questions, certainly reach out to us at BSN Tech Networks. And my website is at bsntech.com. All right, thank you for watching. This again is Brian with BSN Tech Networks.